Sleeping on your back is bad for your kidneys and lower back. Sleeping on your stomach is bad for your intestines and neck. Sleeping on the right side is bad for the liver. Sleeping on the left side is bad for the heart. Sleeping while sitting is bad for the lower back and spine. Sleeping standing up is almost impossible. Sleeping on your head is bad for your head. How to live, how to sleep. Unfortunately, we cannot give up sleeping at all. Because a person without sleep dies in three days. Stanislav Chernonog is with you and the channel of Vector Massage and Somatics and the community of the same name. Today we are talking about how to sleep properly and what are the risks of each sleeping position. Let's start from the back. Our model just safely lies on her back. What are the risks? The fact is that when we sleep on our backs, we have the following problems. First, if a person has increased lumbar load doses, that is, the deflection in the abdomen is too large, this can lead to the fact that when a person sleeps on the one's back, the person puts the sacral lumbar joint at risk and thus puts a load on the lumbar vertebrae. As a consequence, this leads to excruciating lower back pain and leg problems. In addition, when a person sleeps on the back, it puts a strain on the one's kidneys because they are squeezed and placed in an unnatural position. In addition, a common situation is when a person sleeps on the back and squeezes the legs, and this leads to the fact that stagnation occurs in the groin area, and this adversely affects the urinary genital system. When we sleep on our back, there is a risk that our mouth opens and we begin to breathe through our mouth. This can dry up the mucous membranes of our larynx and lead to the fact that the tongue can fall into the larynx and increase the risk of apnea, that is, snoring. Snoring is not some simple harmless thing that just annoys you with its noise, this is a condition that regularly kills people by stopping their breathing and they die of suffocation. Accordingly, we conclude that if you have problems in the lower back, in the urinary genital system, in the kidneys, or with snoring, with the non-closure of the jaw, then this position is not recommended for you. On the other hand, this position is great when you want to help your digestive system. This position is great if you want to relax and support your respiratory system. Maybe we have a better sleeping position than the back position. Let's find it out. Let's lie on the left side. When we talk about sleeping on our side, we must first of all remember the condition of the neck. Here, look at my model. With the pillow height, which was quite comfortable for the model lying on her back, we have an insufficient pillow height for sleeping on her side. What's going on here? Here, the lateral surface of the neck is relaxed and the neck is flexed. And the head throws back, which can lead to quite serious problems in the cervical spine up to the displacement of the vertebrae and spasm of the muscles that compress the nerves leading to the arms and the diaphragm. But the worst thing is that this position can destroy the stability of the cervical spine which can cause chronic headaches or migraines and most importantly cerebrovascular accident. But the worst thing is that the violation of cerebral circulation leads to the fact that we think worse and enjoy life less. What to do here? Well, in our particular case, if we take a higher pillow, then we will ensure ourselves against the wrong position of the neck. What other problems could there be? If we sleep in a position where one leg rests on the other, this is not very beneficial in terms of pelvic stability and blood circulation in the pelvic region. When the legs are compressed, this violates the normal circulation of blood in the pelvis. There are the following options. We straighten the bottom leg and bend the top leg. It's a great position for the pelvis. It's a great position for blood circulation in the lower extremities. But this position is potentially dangerous for the lower back. In addition, we remember that when we lie on our left side, then we have the squeezing of the hard bag. And thus, the heart is more susceptible to stress. I repeat once again that in this position the lower back suffers, potentially dangerous for it due to twisting. In addition, there are problems in the cardiac region. If you have lower back and heart problems, avoid this position. You are search for the perfect slipping position and roll over onto our right side. It is very important to remember the position of the head here. In the position on the right side, there are the same difficulties with the pelvis there are the same difficulties with the lower back if the bottom leg is straight and the top leg is bent at the knees. Here, among other things, we are faced with the fact that the liver is compressed and thus 
functions much worse. A wonderful detail of this side position is the understanding that depending on which side you lie on, your pancreas works differently. So we must remember that the pancreas goes from left to right. There is almost no contractile tissue in the pancreas, and the secretion of the pancreas goes out well when it is placed with the tail up and with the part from which the secretion gets out, down. This is just the position on the right side. Sleeping on the left side is harmful for the pancreas and sleeping on the right side is good for the pancreas. Let's talk now about the position of the stomach. We lie on our stomach and we face following problems. First we have a pillow. Let's put a pillow and here we have a pillow. And what are we seeing here? Here we observe the hat thrown back and curved. The most common problems with lying on your stomach are neck problems. We turn our head, we tilt our head back, and in addition we relax the cervical spine, which very often leads to pinching of the vertebral artery, carotid artery, and subsequent headaches and difficulties with perception in the morning. 90% of the people I've met have neck problems of some sort, and the pillow, of course, and the wrong position during sleep play a negative role. In addition, if we lie in the way our model lies, that is, wrap our arms around the pillow, we increase the lumbar load doses. Pay attention to how you lie and how you hug the pillow. Perhaps your lower back is unhappy. In addition to this, when we lie on our stomach, there is squeezing of the intestines, and this is not very good for the digestive system. Why is it so dangerous? The fact is that every time we compress the intestines in one standard way, we block the movement of underdigested food in one particular region. Sleeping in this position after eating, especially after a heavy dinner, is strictly prohibited because it provokes the formation of a hiatal hernia and the reflux of gastric juice into the esophagus and up to the trachea or larynx. We made a separate video dedicated to heartburn and belching. It will be out on our channel soon. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. And we continue. As a result, it turns out that practically all the positions that we have are in some sense either dangerous or fraught with some kind of problems. It's time to be horrified and desperate, because no matter how we go to bed, we will still have problems. But everything is not so scary, dear friends and colleagues. The specifics of our pastime during sleep is that our consciousness practically does not control how we sleep. If we look at a real, normal, ordinary person, we find that the person regularly rolls over during sleep, and here we must understand that a person rolls over in an uncontrolled way. We do not notice how we move in different directions. This is great news, because every time the body finds itself in a state where its parts are blocked, or for example some region of the spine is tired, or blood circulation is disturbed in some region, the body analyzes this information and thus chooses a different position that is more in line with our current health needs. Thus, we find ourselves in a situation where the body, supposedly, figures it out on its own. If we are uncomfortable, then the body somehow moves you to a comfortable position. To some extent, this is true. For example, in some cases, the body puts us on the tummy when the process of digestion is going on there in order to create increased pressure so that the digestion process goes faster. At some point, the body lays us on the liver in order to ensure a better outflow of bile from the liver. And in some cases, it puts us on the stomach in order to support the stomach or lungs. The process becomes dangerous at the moment when we get stuck in one fixed position for a long time. And the pathos of this video is not that it is dangerous and harmful to sleep. The pathos of this video is not that the body itself will figure it out, but that the most harmful thing for us is fixation in one familiar position. Every time you notice that you go to sleep in one position and woke up straight in the same position, know that you are exposing your body to chronic systematic stress in the wrong direction. The best sleep is when you periodically turn over during sleep and do it in a variety of ways. What can I recommend to you? Organize the space in such a way that you know in what position you fall asleep and wake up. Accustom yourself to fall asleep or lie at least for a while in positions that are unusual for you. Change left side to right side. Change position on the back and on the stomach. And most importantly, make sure 
that you have a pillow that can provide you with the opportunity to support your neck. If we sleep on our back, then the pillow should be thin. If we sleep on our stomach, then maybe we should do without a pillow at all. And if we sleep on our side, then the pillow should be the highest. In this sense, I really like pillows that have the ability to format according to the position of the head. For example, pillows filled with buckwheat husks or small cherry peats. Here I have a pillow. I have a variable height pillow. For example, I have a pillow that is quite high at the edges and has the smallest high in the middle. Accordingly, my body sleep is automatically attached to the part of the pillow which corresponds to the optimal position of the head. Sincerely thank you for watching this video to the end. I look forward to your comments on how you sleep, what is your favorite position during sleep, what positions make you feel bad, and what do you do to sleep better, deeper, and wake up in a better mood. Well, as always, Stanislav Chernonog was with you, the author and creator of the online school of vector massage and somatics and the YouTube channel of the same name, where we observe the most ordinary and standard manifestations of our life as people, we learn to understand what is useful, what is harmful. We learn to correct the state of health, our own, our loved ones and our clients. And most importantly, make good money on it. See you again, friends. Goodbye.